Oh, that's the fancy. Oh, this is fire. Yo, yo, this is fire. How they got the low rod? Nah, I have to go to Melbourne. This is dope. This area, though. This area. They got nice hotels in this area. Drop a comment. What area is this? I wasn't. That must have went over my head. But drop that. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to the lads. Shout, shout, shout out to the lads. Hold on. Where we at? We in Melbourne? Shout out Melbourne. Shout, shout, shout out Melbourne. Yo, listen. Doing, doing, mate. Um, shout out to the lads. We want to roll the 4,000 subscribers. Spaniards back in Melbourne. Part three. TT Chanel. Subscribe for the vibe. Let me just say this. If you're new to the channel. Spanion has music playing in his videos. So, if you join the membership, my membership, which starts at a dollar, you get early access to the video. So, you guys get to see the full video without all the skips, without all the trim outs, without all the copyright issues. You guys get to see the full experience for a full 24 hours before the video has to get edited to avoid copyright stuff. All right? All right. Glad we got that out the way. It's all abandoned now. So These are all abandoned, eh? Every single one of them's boarded. Kids playing. You can see them playing. Syringes everywhere. Look, look at that. Straight away, syringe. Syringe. Look how many there are. I'm Spanian. I was raised in the housing areas of Sydney City. Spent most of my youth and adult life in prison. And after a total of 13 years, I'm free and I'm out. I like when he said that. 13 years. About flying around, sussing out the hoods all over the world. Let's urge. Let's urge. No, let's urge. Let's urge. Right? Ah. A young father has been stabbed to death outside his girlfriend's South Yarra apartment. An 18-year-old tradie has been stabbed to death on a crowded St Kilda foreshore. A man who... Uh, ah, uh, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I've been doing my research in Melbourne, and it's not looking good, Melbourne. Like, why is this so violent there? Who police feared had a gun is in custody following a tense standoff in Windsor. Sniffer dogs and specialist police have been deployed to crack down on crime in St Kilda. And more than $150,000 worth of drugs have been seized by detectives determined to clean up St Kilda streets. All right, everyone, welcome back into the hood. We're back in Melbourne, Melbourne's most notorious suburbs, part three. I'm excited for this one. These are the hoods I love, inner city hoods, inner city projects. We're going today to South Melbourne, South Melbourne flats and the surrounding South Melbourne areas, which are notorious areas, St Kilda, Pran, Windsor. Melbourne is full of inner city flats. There's many suburbs, Flemington, Collingwood, Fitzroy. Oh, out of that artwork was fire. Yo, Melbourne, Melbourne got some talent. Uh, Melbourne is full of inner city flats. There's many suburbs, Flemington, Collingwood. Look at that. That is talent, yo. Shout out Melbourne. That's that's talent. Yo, has Bayon ever went on like a graffiti artwork tour? Hmm, curious. But Fitzroy, out of all of them, they all have a, a long notorious history, right? But lately, the worst inner city flats are South Melbourne. Everyone says, bro, you gotta get to South Melbourne. It's been going crazy last 10 years. That place is chaos. So we're going down there now. We're catching a tram. It's like two stops on a tram, like four minutes. We could probably walk it, but I'm saving my calories for the trek, lad. It's midday Sunday, so we're here on the weekend. There's a rapper from there. His name's Little Jace. Meeting him and a couple of his boys, I think. Oh, drop a comment. What he's saying? What he, well, what he rap? Drop a comment. He's gonna take us up into the projects, the big towers. Tell us the yarns, this and that. Let's go, bruh. It's full chockers. Look, bruh. That was literally like a three minute tram ride. I think we can still see where we got on the tram. Yo, he just got off the train. It was like a car, like right on the train tracks. I know what you're thinking, TC. Okay, is that not normal? No! Why is there a car on your train tracks? Huh? It's not dangerous? Huh? Just down there. I think this is the tram stop down here. Ah, oh, there's like. He brought like 15 people along, lad. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. good. Little Jace. Little Check Jace. Promoting myself, that's what I gotta do. But <laughs> from Paran, full yep. disclaimer, 
not a South Melbourne boy. Got some South Melbourne boys with me though. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, spent a bit of time in South. Melbourne. I respect that. You see what he said? He said, "Listen, I'm not a South Melbourne boot. Uh, I'm not a South Melbourne dude, but I bought some with me. Like, so you can know, like, that you can get my insight from being on the outside looking in and just having to, you know, be here now, and you can get the." The advice from you know not even the advice you can get the yarn like how the lads say from the from the heads that's actually from here. I respect that. I like that. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we oh, spent yeah. a lot of time. Shame. So, so don't we spent a lot of time going up there too, man. Just running a map. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah so we'll but South there. Melbourne, from where you grew up, Pran, yeah, it's same hood, they're, it's close they're by. They're different hoods, but they're all connected because there's only a couple of schools that everybody goes to. Yeah, yeah. We don't really beef. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pretty much all together yep. because of the friendships. Obviously, there yep. are some people that don't like each other. It happens in every hood. It's, it's supposed time, to. Man. It's not yeah. a hood if it's not yeah, like it's that. Not, lad. But majority of the time, everyone's connected, bro. You just know everybody. And the mecca for me, it's like all roads lead to Pran. That was always yo, the yo, mecca yo. because of Chapel Street. It's yeah. a two kilometer strip, world famous for the show. Because I heard of it, that's why I'm asking yeah, Chapel Street. Fashion. Yeah. They might want to argue like Fitzy and all that. Shout out to the Fitzy boys. <laughs> yeah. It's different. Like yeah, it's yeah. all nightclubs because there's two sections to Haran and Chapel. There's yo. the nighttime and then there's the daytime. Yo, yo. And they're two different worlds. Yeah. Graffiti is a big thing in Melbourne, yeah. eh? Yo, I was just about to say that. Yo, shout out graffiti. Like, yo, the graffiti in Melbourne is crazy. Like, the graffiti in Melbourne is crazy. Like, that shit is beautiful, bro. Hey. Me and my cousin started one of the biggest yeah. crews in Melbourne. Yeah. TKO. Oh, yeah. We actually have some of Melbourne's best writers. Oh, yeah? So, suppose. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah mad. You know, like, it's like full it's like like, a couple OG writers, yeah. Yeah, yeah hectic, yeah. hectic. We, that was a big, big. Wait, what does OG writers mean? Like, graffiti people? Is that what they call them? Writers? Drop a comment, let me know. Big thing in our time, and um, so we'll definitely be showing you some walls. Yeah. All Melbourne graffiti, lad. I gotta show you, you know, the world famous Melbourne graffitis. So, this is our line. We used to basically back on trams, like you the old school ones, you can back on them. Yeah. And we just go, because sometimes they. Yo, that's crazy. Y'all shit. Y'all train look exactly like the trains in Jersey. Remember, I'm from New York, guys. I'm sure you guys know that by now. I say it enough. I just moved to Jersey like two years ago, so I'm still trying to get used to this whole Jersey shit. But yeah, that looked like some Jersey shit. Y'all go look at my vlogs. When I was showing y'all downtown Jersey City, they had like the trains like that. I feel like that is dangerous. Because you just feel like you can get hit. I don't know. I don't know. They're packed, and you're like, yeah, I'll just jump on the back, and you just kick back, and you yeah, yeah. go down, pop off. It's hard to do that now because of the way they make them. We're yep. gonna go Raglan Street first. One yep. of the first housings that we were in was yep. uh, South was South Melbourne. Yeah. Raglan Street. Oi, yeah, we're doing that. Doing. It's a little flat, rich history. Yep. Then we'll go down to Park Street, Park Towers. Still in South Melbourne? Yep. Yep. They're very close to each other. It's similar to Glee, Redford, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. We'll go to Dorcas Street Flats, which is gonna be a good one. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll, we'll take them. Then we'll go to St Kilda, Windsor, Paran. I've heard South Melbourne flats. Have been real bad lately. Yeah. Amongst the worst flats in Melbourne. They have. It's pretty good, you know. Obviously, there's been. They've got their stories. It's. Yeah, mad, mad. So some of the boys here are from South Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Some of the boys here from yep, South mad, Melbourne. Mad. Andre. Just very. Uh, the culture's really obviously cafes, coffees, long black. Shout out to Colombia yep. with the long black. <laughs> He's mate to Colombia, by the way, my mate. He's not Colombia. And my ghost hunting and that. Oh, you guys are big on coffee. Well, I, I got tea right now. You, you, you guys drink tea, right? Y'all like tea, right? Is that like a, is that, I don't know. This can't be an American thing, right? Or everywhere over the world like tea. But he said coffee though. That's why I'm curious. Y'all don't like tea? Huh. We're gonna get him on the long blacks. <laughs> you know, you got the pockets of um, Yo. every flat. You know, so there's three main flats. We'll go through all of them. You know, my, my. one of the flats, Dorcas Street, is a band. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, lads. The best way to get blaze and enjoy your blaze is you you smoke the dope and you get a nice hot cup of tea. Now the tea already got the herbs in it, so you mix the herb with the herb, you be lit. Promise you. Did now? Oh, is it? Yeah, it's boarded up. The whole thing. Yeah. Really? So I'm gonna. Um, it's getting knocked down or something? Or? Yeah, bro. Yeah. There's a bit of this gentrification that happens in. It's happening, bro. Is that happening throughout Melbourne or just yeah, here? Man. Everywhere. And really? Shattered because in Paran, they knocked down a, like half of it. Oh, that's it. And I was there the other day, man, and I just felt I was just sad, bro. Like I couldn't believe it. Like a part of us has just been ripped. Yeah, I know, know ex exactly you know how you feeling? feel. That's that's the feeling when any hood gets knocked down. I said that before. It's like you don't want to say it's a bad thing because 
it's a good thing it if is. they're in you know they're like to society it's a good thing yeah. but to us it's like that's every yarn that now, i've got that's right now the like, stories my, are, yeah. the stories are gone and it's just in my head that's how the whole sydney is becoming too whole waterloo's getting knocked down and it's like after that what do you tell people there used to be this thing and yeah. it used to be fun uh, it would yeah. like imagine that you know yeah yeah, like, yeah lucky i've got like it's funny because that's the same thing happening in america it's like they're really just trying to put I don't even know what they're trying to do anymore because at first you you thought as a kid right growing up you see your hood and then you, you start seeing your hood get nice so as a kid you're like oh my god look they care about us and then your mom tell you i gotta move because you can't afford the rent in that area the same area that you that you are from it's like i i just i hate it i i hate it i hate it i really do it's like if they were better in the hood for us it'd be different but they're not but on one hand it's like if you keep treating us like animals what do you expect? You know what? Lucky, yes. And lucky, this is one of the things I said when I do this. It documents, because I'm telling you, most hoods that we go through, say 15 years from now, I promise they won't be there. So everyone will be looking back at into the hood to remember the old Australia, the true Australian. Exactly. That's why I love what Spain y'all do. You hear what he said? And on top of that, like he said, you know, it, it'll be nostalgic. That's the word when it's like a flashback memory and stuff like that. But it's also... It shines light like something needs to be done about this. Him showing you how it really is. Journalists don't do that. They there for two seconds, blah, 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 and they leaving. He really taking you in the hood. Culture, yeah. underground, Sydney, City, Melbourne, City stuff, lad. It's huge. That's what, that's what I urge. see it as. It's, this is going to be part of history. Hopefully 20 years you can still see it and be like, that was Paran. That was South Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the best. Dog in the trolley, lad. Hey, America loves dogs. So does Australians love dogs? Portable surveillance. They got them here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah like um, Darwin. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't do them in Sydney? No, nah, no, nah, they don't have those in Sydney. Do those ones talk to you though? No. No, no, no. See the towers here. That's park towers. This is like comparable to when I done the episode in Sydney, um, Surrey Hills, Waterloo, Redfern. This is compar c comparative. They're actually both south. So that's South Sydney as well, in Sydney, Redfern, South City, and this is South too. And it's a similar setup, except a lot more shops here. A lot better shops too, our ratty shops in Redfern Street. Also, this claim are uh, nowhere near as big, like the, that, section, oh, yeah. that section that you guys have got, yeah, way, yeah, yeah. way bigger, way bigger. Yeah, yeah. This is more, but... Yo, there's not a... There, like, do you guys love kebabs? Is that an Australian thing? Because every time he in these hood, I see a kebab sign. That's not something that you're going to see everywhere in America. So that got to be an Australian thing. I have to try a kebab. Oh, I'm so mad I never had a kebab. Separated, yeah, eh? Separate. Yeah. Like a building here and a building there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. One of the boys here, old school Viet boy, OG from Paran. Yep. He ended up getting murdered out here. Oh, really? It was on the news. He ended up um, getting his uh, throat sliced. No, no way. Middle. Yeah, someone ran up behind him. Just here? Yeah, it was along here somewhere. I don't know. Apparently a robbery gone wrong. A young boy. That's it. Yeah, like, shout out to Ricky. It was Ricky. Is uh, Ricky. one of the first guys I met when I was in Paran. Old school Viet. It was sad, man. Yeah, good guy. One of the top guys. Shout out, Ricky. Hi, OG. On the, on the main street here, you're yeah, saying? Yeah, it was like 3, 3 a.m. in the morning. Somewhere around here. Far out. That was a couple of years ago. Out of the areas that we're going, what's the cultural makeup of the people? For us, it was every nationality, bro. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we had every Asian you can think of. A lot of wogs, man. We had uh, Turk boys, Lebo boys, yeah. so it's Italians. Just, it's as mixed as you can get. <laughs> Right? You didn't say that they were they blacks or they're Africans. You didn't say that. Well, I would say it was. I always say it's like we're like all nations, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's what made us back in the day so strong because we weren't. Just oh nah, but I just did. I'm lying. I just did a reaction video on Melbourne and African gangs and things of that nature. One nationality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then because of the different nationals. But what about now? Right the now. The ethnic makeup now. It's still a little bit like that. Probably less Asians. A bit more African because. They've had their immigrations and yep, you know yep. they've been coming. Also, a lot of Africans There's, moved to these yeah, towers as well. Yeah, back in the days, back in the days, wasn't as many Africans except yep. down in um, North Melbourne, yep. Flemington. That's really where they were. Yep. But now, pretty much Africans everywhere. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. It's so diverse. I always say we never saw racism. We just saw poor. We were all poor. That was the nationality we were. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I be trying to tell people. Like, don't get me wrong. Racism is still in the world. But we're at the point where now it's just rich and poor. We don't like white people poor. It's rich and poor. 
and that and I'm at the point where I am getting pissed off. I gotta show you guys this video. I'm not now, but there's a video of where it shows you how billionaires spend their money. And you are gonna wanna throw up. I don't know if it's be and, and glad I really want to bring it in with me. And I want you guys to comment and be honest with me. Is it because we're poor that we feel like billionaires spend their money on ridiculous shit? Or is it because we are human and we realize that how can you spend X amount of money on something so pointless? Something so pointless, like, I don't know, $2,000 champagne. Not even. They be spending $10,000 on champagne. And there's somebody starving. I just, now the younger me, yeah, I spend my money on that. I'm young. But the older you get, you like, nah, man, how can, how can you? And they be in these big-ass mansions, 10, 10 bedrooms. It's three of them. 10 bedrooms. It's a family of four. Come on. Like, what you need that big-ass house for? It's just, I don't know, man. Y'all drop a comment. Tell me what I think. I mean, tell me, we what, do, we tell me what you think. We were all just united as one, so we Yo. spoke the same language, no money. All right, so on Raglan Street now, these are the first flats we're coming up to. Also, these are small complexes. Yeah. Very tight-knit community. Yo, yo. So this is Raglan. This is where um, me and my cousins grew up. This His, his mum had uh, an apartment here. They still do. Man, we had some... Good times here, a lot of punch ons just with the local kids. Oh, one yeah, one, so we learned how to do one on one. But these are all yeah. houses, obviously. You see, I know that's what I came here for for me to pause in and talk. Listen, um, you know what? The Americans got me all uptight with pausing now because I do American videos and they be like, stop pausing. But I like to talk to y'all, my 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 Aussie people, y'all respond when I talk, so let, let's get it. Um, I like the fact that you guys do punch on. In America, we're, we're real. We used to be like that, but now it's just shoot, shoot, shoot. So I like that you guys still keep it old school. You don't always got to kill people. Man. We can just fight. Whatever happened to that? Yeah. yeah what, what's the nature of the people that live here? Uh, all sorts, man. All sorts, all sorts like Jace was saying before, yeah. yeah. Definitely all sorts. This little section here, we set up like basketball rings. Yeah. We just be playing one on one all day, every day. Yeah. Um, just getting into it with the local boys. Yeah. yeah. Um, punch ons, etc. Just be able to Running amok, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. 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 Running amok. Was... <laughs> Running amok. Yo, I heard that word, of course, in America. But the first time I actually like, like really like embraced it when I listened to Young and Lips' song, um, Misunderstood. He was like, give me two minutes and I run amok. Yo, I love Young and Lips, guys. You guys like Young and Lips? Where we pick it, man. Oh, he's all chilled here in the middle, huh? Yeah. yeah. yeah there was like hundreds of kids back in the day that like lived yeah. here, so everyone used to kick it. Yeah, yeah. It's either this square or the, the next square down there. Mm. One of the boys here got his um, crib shot up when we were young. He was older. Yeah. Apparently just missed him. He wanted the brick walls and that. He was here and whatnot. Oh, all the news came? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what they did. It was a ride by, a walk by, whatever, but popped a fucking couple of shots into his crib. Rumor was that he was on the couch and shit was just flying past his head, hitting the brick walls That's inside it. the crib. See those so, see the brown bricks? Yeah. It looks like that inside. Oh, brown does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's not even rendered. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so people live down here as well. Oh, people live down here? Yeah, like you can see. Yeah, look. It looks like jazz. What? No way people live there. Like bums? Like people? No way. Oh, no, you mean that's their doors? I thought you meant here. I thought you meant. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yo. People live there. <laughs> people live here too, yeah. So that's some of their doors. They're spewing, like. Look at that. Imagine that's your door, like. No way. This looks like a prison. Like like a jail cell, that are like solitary confinement. What do you guys call it when they separate? When a, when a prisoner acting, they put them in like this little jail. I mean, this little cell by themselves. We call it solitary confinement. No way I was coming into a house like that and calling it home. Hell no. If you got dramas with people, that's the worst door to have. <laughs> True. Yeah. See, look how easy you can get got here. Yeah. This is like the front side of the flats. I think main street, middle of the flats, front entrance. More parts of syringes here. Yeah. Wait, where's the other one? This is, this is the what? loaded one. This is the one we were gonna put yeah, the yeah. Oh yeah? Did you make a bowl? Yeah. <laughs> that's the wood trolley. It's got a bit of blood. You said that's the Alright, where they what are these flats? Park Street. Park Towers. Park Towers. This is the full Melbourne aesthetic that I think of. Yeah, yeah. The basketball court, the little park outside, and then the 
more of a towers. Brown on brown with light blue windows. It's like a hospital. And see, look, that's where we are. We're saying the, the, the bars, the framing on the outside, stop people opening it up, uh, opening the windows and jumping out. People used to do that. Jump yeah. out of here, yeah. yeah. Well, these are hammered, lad. <laughs> straight here, this, this, that each door, even on the other side, straight bins and it stinks, look. Trolley's full of garbage. Oh yeah, that's the end. Yo, I never understood that, right? Like, to the people that live over there, it's like, you gotta live here. So it's like, I get it, you're making it, no, I don't get it. Cause you're dirtying up your community. You have to live there. Like I never, like when I did the vlog in 6 9 hood, and I'm just like, wow, this is really dirty. And it's like, I wasn't trying to even, you know, be funny or nothing. I'm saying like, I'm trying to wrap my head around how this is you guys community. And it's like, this is how it looks. So it almost makes you wonder. Cause you know, it ain't the outside is making your community dirty. You're there all day, every day. It's like, why would you want to dirty your own community? That makes no sense. Like if I'm in my, where I live, if I'm where I grew up at trash, I'm gonna go to the garbage can. If I'm anywhere, to be honest, it's like, what is wrong with people? Why is people so dirty? It's like a, a bottle of soda. They just throw it on the floor. Like, bro, throw that in the garbage. Like, you're literally collecting garbage in this. What is happening? Yeah. Yo, you see him right here? I like him. I'm going to show you. Remember Lex? If you, if you, if you a day one TT, you know what I mean? Subscribe. But you remember I did a reaction video with one of the Spaniards into the hood. And he was with this tall dude. I was like, yo, that's Legs right there. And then another one with this guy, he just kept rapping. I called him doing too much. And I got another nickname for this guy. Him. I like him. He is on timing at all times. I, like, from the beginning of the video, when he was showing, when the dude, when the rapper showed him, like, yeah, you know, this is the crew. He was like, yo, you good with me, Spanyan. You don't got nothing to worry about. You just do your, you just do your camera, and I'm knocking out. I'm taking Anybody head hook that try to pro you anything. The moment this guy approached Spanion and he's all love. But this guy right here looked like, yo, what you what you want, bro? Like don't don't mate. Like what's good with you, lad? Like I'ma call him I'ma call him low nah. He low key. I'ma call him low key. Cause he the type he looked like don't play with him. But you he like a mystery in a sense. I'ma call him low key, yo. He like Yo, just look at the way, just look at the way he looked that boy when he approached, when he started walking up. I just fence. Oh my. Look, hey. <laughs> like, who you? <laughs> Yo, Tommy, I like him. I like Loki. I reckon, I reckon that everybody have a friend like Loki. You feel me? I hope I, I hope I use that in the right term. I don't relax. I say it, my boy. Is this the hay for any Yeah? Not anymore, man. Yeah. Why? What was it like then? South Melbourne's another a Turak now, mate. Like, you know? Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is the real deal here. Now. Turak's a rich area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's still, yeah, it's well, just 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the flats were hectic. Control things yet, these windows, mate. Were they? Come on, another place, right? Did you hear that shit? Nah. Say that one more time, come here. How'd you answer that phone? It's City Morgue, you kill me, kill me, who is it? Ah, oh, shit, hey, it's Andre here, you gave us access. <laughs> It's oh, it's Smokos. <laughs> Let us in, bro. There's security in these flats too, like out in Waterloo. Look, you watch. And I wonder if they got dramas like uh, in oh, Sydney. It's all right. I just got busted. Come on. Come on. He knows us. Yeah, he knows us. Come on, mate. <laughs> all right, we're sweet. One of us knows me. Yeah. Yo, that's dope. We don't got security in our projects. Go look at my vlogs, guys. Go look at my vlogs. Outside with TT Chanel, there's a playlist on my channel. We don't got security. You can just walk in that motherfucker. Anything can happen. It's pretty dangerous if you ask me. I like that you guys got security. That's dope. It, now, is security like 24-7 in a building, or is it like a, a morning, daytime type of thing? How does that work? All right, so we've had like big dramas to get in the flats and the uh, security down in the thing, seeing the cameras. Same story as Waterloo. And there's a lad here behind us tell, telling us he's going to call the coppers on us. <laughs> if he films the building, he's committing an offence. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, low key should have just pushed him out the elevator. Like, shut up, boy. You just talking a whole bunch of just get out. Jimmy's <laughs> one of the like an OG Paran boy, like like everywhere boy. Like you know what I mean? Everyone knows Jimmy. Like, he let us yeah. he let us in. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How you, boy? Hey, so, thank you, bro. Thank you, man.
<laughs> with your flats and like you get a mad view. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's hectic. How high are these? 30 stories I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, and we're on the like, 20th or something, eh? Lucky okay, I've gotten used to heights. Six months ago, I'd have been shooting myself here, I'd have been like this. Oh, you're doing that? Yeah, 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 right. I can handle it now. So you can see the. Nah, I hate heights. Yo, I cannot stand heights. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Ugh, I don't know. And then, I, yo, I don't know what's going on. I have this dream. It's random. It doesn't happen all the time, but it'd be random. When I'm falling, and I don't like that. It just got me paranoid for heights, bro. Formula One race track from here. Oh, Kenya? Yeah, that's that's the track, our park place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My little yarn. But yeah, you know, a lot of family communities, really good people. Maybe yeah. in the lift was spewing, eh? Oh, look, whole apartments bought it up here. What's that water called? Port Phillip? That's Port Phillip. Oh, yeah. Oh, St. Kilda Beach is down there? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Look at the windows. Like prison windows. So this sort of looks like when you come out of the lift, like this. That's what that's what it is, bro. Rubbish on the floor, hammered. Floors look like they don't get cleaned. Yeah, but these flats are hammered. Nah, this is crazy. They got trash everywhere. What's your food just dumb rubbish? Dorca Street flats. Dorca Street flats. South Melbourne. Um, it's all abandoned now, so as you'll see. Oh, these are all abandoned, eh? These are mad. These are in a mad, eh? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Look, every single one of them's boarded. These out of out of the three we've seen. This is where Maxie lives. I'm about to say, get us out of there. It's scary. <laughs> the perfect position. This so you can't climb that balcony. Bro, it's scary dark in there, but looking here, I can't see anything. This is where Maxie lives. Yep. Of the boys. Okay. Oh, Baba. They're having parties here, lad. Parties. Yo, what is with the Gatorade bottle? What does that mean again? Drop a comment, tell me again. How you guys getting blazed off Gatorade bottles and you guys put the water and I see somebody light it up? Like, what? what is that? Yo, yeah, I shot my first official music video. Good job. In, you know, yeah, it's called Seek and You Shall Find. Yeah. I shot it in there. This place is just syringed out, like. Yeah. Like, be careful, there's actually yeah. sharp. Yeah. Yeah. No caps on them. I wonder why they're selling them, though. Like, maintenance in them, cleaning them up, and they're still very usable. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the building. Oh, so there's still a, a park area that's getting used in between it all. Yeah. Wow, oh, look at you. See, there's kids playing here. A park. Oh, hell no. They got kids playing. He just passed mad drugs. Mad stuff that could hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh no, this is no. I see. See, this is why we love spaying y'all videos. They need to do something about that. I understand the security in the building, but they also need cleaners, janitors. Like, that is ridiculous. No way. Uh, look, so it's not like the whole complex is, it's just that's in still, the, that's still active. But that's hammered. Look at that. Yeah, that's still active. That reminds me of when I was in Bulgaria. <laughs> Mad still Max. Active, but all, but the, all the low rises are abandoned. Look, kids playground here. Kids playing. You can see them playing. And then it's syringes cool. everywhere. Look. Just here. Bang. Look. Look at that. Straight away. Syringe. Bloody. That is ridiculous. Any kid can just pick that up. No, that just pissed me off. You know? cap off syringe full of blood at least that's got the cap on syringe syringe look how many there are look blood syringe syringe kids playing guess what drugs are still getting used around still a lot of heroin heroin still uh, obviously ice and ice yeah probably competing big time ozzy's on ice ozzy's on we got another ozzy on ice again man something has to be done about that First of all, how did ICE even get there? You know what? I'm gonna do a video on ICE. Um, yo, yo. Because in Sydney, heroin, just because of how expensive it is and how much they have a heroin habit. Is it expensive? It, it oh, yeah, yeah, it's just, nowadays it's, it's, it's a lot harder for criminals to make money. Gotcha. Compared to like early 2000s, yeah, yeah. late yeah, 90s. Yeah. So yeah. Having, a, having a heroin addiction nowadays, Doesn't make sense. It's, it's so hard, you know yeah. what I mean? But ice, because it, it lasts for so long, yeah. it's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can be an ice addict for $150 a day, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
if you, 150 dollars. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a coffee. You yeah, know, yeah. Like 150 dollars of heroin's not getting you nowhere. You're barely making it to the afternoon. <laughs> oh, so this one's bought it up too, yo. 50% of this rock garden is cigarette butts. Look, <laughs> look. Oh, they sir yeah. syringe boxes. Yeah, look. At least they had those. They're getting used. What? What? What is happening? I'm so confused. They might be getting used. There's no syringes on the floor there. These are all the ones that are getting decommissioned, however you say it. But the one here is still the, the high rise. People still live in it. Oh, really? yeah, that was I actually. Obviously refuse to go until they get a spot. So they're just hanging around with the syringes for the time being. <laughs> yeah. Still live here, they're still active. Not sure what they're going to do with these ones. All right, so those ones were four story ones. This one looks like it's like 15 stories, 12 stories or something. All right, when you start hearing that type of music, that means, you know, that's the the licensed music so um, I'm gonna have to like either skip over it or YouTube is probably gonna have me cut it out because they're gonna um, copyright the video remember if you join that membership you get to see the full video without the skips without the trim outs all that good stuff join that membership it starts at a dollar shout out to the last we just got a member the other day so now we're three members deep yeah and I actually think we're four members deep I'm gonna check again though but I believe we're four members deep so shout out to the lads Where are we going now? Just uh, St Kilda, Windsor. St Kilda, Windsor. That's OG. He got a nice ass car. This is the Formula One track, lad. Yeah. It's, it, I remember one time we, we realised that the helicopters always go over those walkovers. We got up onto the um, top of one. Yeah, yeah. And we grab did our roof, tags, the grabbed the roofs, because we are like, <laughs> man, we're going to get that mad views and yeah, they yeah. are like, next day covered it. Oh, so you'd have been watching it spewing. Yeah, we yeah. were like, yeah, we were like, <laughs> oh, what? Like, how did they even know we were up there? Yeah. And this is just open thoroughfare to the public yep. for the rest of the year. Yep. And and these grandstands, they stay here all year or they back up because the Formula One's about to Yeah, they start pull, it. pull them down. Oh, yeah. Pull them back up. They, they take about a month to put everything down. And, what, and what's here when, it, when, they're, when they're down? Just grass? Nothing. Yeah, just grass. It's yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fields, soccer fields, footy fields. Oh, yeah. A lot of sport. That's sick. Yeah. Are we on? I thought soccer is footy. Soccer and footy is the same thing, right? Drop a comment, let me know. Uh, home straight here? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you can tell straight away. Home straight. So when no one's here, it's like, guys pump it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do drags and stuff. So I lived down, down here for like 26 years. What, what was oh, that tram stop there? St. Kilda Station. St. Kilda Station, oh, yeah. Oh, and this is a big housing complex in through here, eh? Yeah. Yeah. There, low rise. Right at the station. Yeah, so this is St. Kilda housing. There's a lot around. Like, small pockets yep but this is where pretty much i grew up 96 yes. everyone always said st kilda's like uh, melbourne's version of king's cross that's exactly right is that that's yep. that yeah you think yep. of it that's like exactly that, yeah. What that is, yeah which is like uh, just like a seedy night live junkie sort of if you don't know what king's cross is that's exactly no, i did not i was about to y'all about to say you lad drop a comment what is king cross i did it so he had, he had a bit of dramas and he's off now <laughs> oh no way you had a video of it <laughs> One story I remember, this guy was cooked there, yeah. and like he was, help, help, help. It's like two in the morning. I'm listening to this guy like, help, 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 and I'm like, what the? So I'll grab a bat, I come out, I walk over, I'm like, brother, you Yo, <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. I like that, I like that. He said, help, help. He said, all right, I hear this guy screaming out for help. Usually, you know, niggas would be like, so, you know, I just mind my business, looked out the window. Nah, he said, so I got my belt. I grabbed my bat to go see what's up. <laughs> he said, yo, I grabbed my bat to go see what's up. Like, I like that Australian people really look out for Australian people, son. It's not like that in America. Somebody will be screaming out, help, and they'll just be recording you. In America, you would watch somebody get murdered. In front of your eyes. And they'll just be... Everybody around them will just be recording them die. So, shout out to Australian people, man. They look out for your people. Oh, good. He's like, they're trying to get me. They're trying to get me. I'm like, who, brother? Who? Like, oh, he's a full schizophrenic. 
I think he just <laughs> smoked too. I think oh, he yeah. hadn't slept for three days. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I didn't know that that's what he was doing, you know, because he seemed all right. And I remember just going, I'm like, bro, you're all right? When he like held hostage, he's like, oh, they're after me, they're after me. Yeah. I ended up realizing, I'm like, bro, you're cool, go to sleep, bro. <laughs> well, he said his own house on fire, that's why. <laughs> You get a lot of junkies and stuff coming through here from Fitzroy Street because no one's here. So a lot of activity happens in the park. Fitzroy Street is the main street of St Kilda? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stories. Hey, Dawn. Yeah. What are you doing? Dawn, Dawn, mate. Dawn, Dawn. Three stories. What do you think made people make that comparative about St Kilda to King's Cross? Say, on F Fitzroy Street, is it comparable to King's Cross? Is yeah, it well, like back strip in the day, clubs? Yeah, uh, no strip clubs, yep. clubs. But, clubs, um, yep. Big red light district. Red light district. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, yo, lads, how's the strip clubs out there? Like, I, like, do you guys like have like some dope strip clubs? And it's like, yo, out of all the strip clubs, that's strip clubs you need to go to when you come here. Like, do y'all got that, or is like strip clubs not like a, a big thing in Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of prostitution, drugs, drugs, bikies. Dealers. Nah, oh, no, nah, not really. Are bikies a thing in Melbourne? Actually, they are now. They are. Definitely was. Oh, we gotta look up the bikey history in Melbourne. Let me see if um shout out to Grid Sparta. Let me see if Grid Sparta got some um some bikey uh educational videos we could you know take a look at. Sydney first we never really were yeah. until they all started getting like yeah yeah the yeah wars they came down here. Oh, did they? Yeah, way more people weren't patching up. There was it was, it was non-existent. It's becoming a thing now though. Hundred percent. Yeah. Those are the gangs now. the gangs now yeah they said seeing. the same thing in darwin actually and i'm like bro is, i didn't think that yeah. and i go nah it's just a new thing we think they all come from sydney that's yeah. what they said if uh, i think i remember when the laws started coming in like they i don't know they there was sydney laws hey. Dawn. Bro, I'm so your video. you live here yeah i live right here yeah mad what's it like living here it's, it's all right it's, um it's cleaned up yeah, the boys are telling me it used to be bad it used to be bad yeah yeah it used to especially down there yeah 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 near the beach there used to be like sea bars now but it used to be like this massive club and a lot of crime happens when a lot of people come to the beach yeah, yeah. and like people like i went down and it was like really popular like because everyone comes down from west side yeah, yeah. then you know they all come down here to st kilda beach yeah hang around yeah yo why she ain't got no clothes on she damn near naked what's happening it must be hot but then she got a hoodie on I don't understand y'all weather. Yeah, and then um, I went down the just to walk. How you doing? <laughs> Man, how are you? Um, yeah, we went around the corner and people just like stomping on like, massive like fights. No game way. Fights, like yeah. pepper spray. All the time. All every the time. summer, yeah. Yeah, every summer. Every Fuck summer. summer yeah. And like, there's a lot of like, yeah, drug use here. Yeah. And we've had like people break into our house, like crackheads and shit. Oh, dead set. Yeah, it's, it's like they're trying to um, gentrify, they're trying to gentrify it, yeah. St Kilda. You can't Are they? Get rid of the yeah. people. That he yeah. Can't get rid of the people because the Gatwick, it's a hotel and it um, it used to be for backpackers and like the block came in and. Wait, what's backpackers? She said it used to be for backpackers. What's that like? Dope dealers? But in Australia, they call them backpackers. Yo, I am so obsessed with not even just Australian culture, but let's just start where the root. You know, so it did start in Australia. So, yes. So, I am obsessed with Australian culture, but I am just obsessed with different cultures, period. Like, being from America, like, isn't it cool to just see how other humans live and interact? It just makes you feel just more human. I'm on this journey of just feeling more human. You probably wonder, Matisse, what does that mean? Are we all human? Yeah, but have we? When was the last time we actually felt human? Like, okay to be sad okay to just be just us ourselves our natural love happy sad angry whatever just human so during my human journey realizing how to be more human and getting in tune with my human self i have to start branching out and seeing different cultures seeing how others live and i must say i love the australian culture i really do Developers bought it and then just kicked out all the people out. The on block the, street. the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, block yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Bought, the developers yeah. bought it and then kicked all the people out on the street and now they're just on the street like outside 7 Eleven. Really? Yeah, it's it was the worst rooms. hotel in like Australia. Yeah. It was really was bad. Yeah, yeah, it was really, really bad. So they, they, they come and they come and board it without any plan for the people and yeah. just say, all right, get yeah. on the street now. Yeah. Like eight now, now the story was so if I actually watched the documentary, so there's two ladies, they looked after it, they were great women. Yeah, great women. The Jacks ended up putting up fines, they ended up putting these laws on them and they 
wouldn't pay the fines anymore. Oh, okay. And then they forced the girls had to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the block came and gentrified it. But we called it Hotel oh. Hell. That's what it was called. Yeah. Really? Hotel Hell, yeah. Oh, um, mad, mad, mad. Then, like, to primary school, and I get bought, like, I had a bottle thrown at me and shit from, like, the windows. Yeah. Oh, and, like, that's it. Yeah, I've had a lot, we've had a lot of experiences. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll yeah. Go yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Oh, right, man. Nice, nice to meet you. Hotel Hell. Let's oge. <laughs> My cousin did this, it's an R.I.P. Jock. Oh yeah, mad. My old man, Jock, Columbia knows my dad. My dad was a... Oh, your dad? My dad yeah. was an old school gangster, St. Kilda, that's how we ended up here. He yep. used to, same crew as Chopper. Mad yep, yep, Charlie, yep. Mad Charlie was someone that was very good friends with my dad. And I forgot about that story of Melbourne when I was just asking you before about if um, that, like, the there's bikey gangs stuff. here. And then I forgot there's that old underbelly yarn eh? all of those dramas all of those ones those were like yeah. the ones that were really kicking off and motorcycle clubs aren't really part of that story now nah, it was more areas so like yeah. my old man with st kilda and you know st kilda was a yeah. really yeah king's cross type it was real yeah. rough back then and yeah 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 gangsters around and that's where what a lot of those names and heads yep. hung around there yeah yeah i think uh Bo Jangles was down st kilda and that's where chopper in that movie oh in the movie he ended up yeah, yeah shot the lad in the car park that's right. yeah that's, oh, right. that's st kilda is this this is not the main part of st kilda no this is the main part oh, yeah. Fitzroy Street, where it's Fitzroy Street. Yeah, yeah 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 what's okay. going on here why is it, it looks like a bunch of homeless well, people they would be they would be in the gatwick oh so this is that's the, the people right of there. the gatwick oh okay so it was a homeless hostel. Sorry. If you can't get housing you can't get and out. you're fresh out of jail, oh, you're going, so it's yeah. a transition. Yeah, but there are people that really they'll live there. Yeah, yeah. And they'll tell you most of the trouble would have came from people who didn't live there. All right. So post-release crisis transitional housing. Yep. Yep. You're getting out of jail. You're going to hotel hell. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't walk past you. You just, if you couldn't handle yourself, you cross the street. You go by. I mean, and look at it now. It, it looks like posh I don't now. Know how they this stuff the, the f an amount of dead death that's in this joint yeah you know man. what i mean i don't even know how you people swear like uh, no way that that shit is haunted then stuff no like, that's crazy been, and look at it now look what they've turned it into now million dollar million dollar apartments i don't care it's still got ghost spirits in that bit funny it's turned into a backpacker place like king's cross Correct. That's exactly what exactly what you're saying. Now you go there, and it's it's all backpackers. This all backpackers. Yeah. Uh, Prince of Wales, any underground or even any, any hip hop act you can think of, you know, from Onyx to Gangstar to. Oh, what y'all know about Onyx, lads? What y'all know about that? Now, mind you, I'm only 31, so Onyx is way. When I mean, I say way before my time because I used to watch Moesha, and Q was one of the the uh, um you know one of the rappers in Onyx. So I kind of know a little bit about Onyx. You know what I mean? Isn't that the slam? Dun dun dun. But they singing that song. Let the boys be boys. Ain't that ain't that Onyx? Drop a comment. Let me know. But I feel like that's Onyx. Oh, okay. they they perform there. They perform there. The oh, SB man. down there. Like a lot of rich history and hip hop acts. They come to St Kilda. Yeah. They book out their shows. Done a couple. Of opening acts there, I did like Lick Nuts, Onyx, Bone no, Thugs. No. Oh, Bone Thugs have been there. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Method Man, Red Man. Yeah. Man SB just around the corner. Oh, shout out Melvin acknowledging the New York legend. Well, Bone Thugs not in New York, but they say, you know, Method Man. Um, where's Red Man from? I think Red Man's from New York too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, isn't that dope? Yeah. Prince of Wales, this is the Columbia story. Uh, he's not my best mate, Columbia. They got a yarn. <laughs> so, Columbia. Did time down here with Maxi. They did five years, I think, and it was because of the punch on that happened at the front of this. So, oh, this is where it happened. This is where it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I, finally here, Columbia, mate. Well, what did you get up to? What happened here? What happened at the Prince of Wales Hotel in Melbourne, mate? I, think, yeah. I don't know if he's still got the actual CCTV footage of it, but I remember seeing it because he showed me it. Yeah. Basically, they got into it out here. Columbia pulls the machete as he does yeah. and starts to go hack on this dude. Maxi gets in the middle and he start, he accidentally chops Maxi in the, in the middle of it. So like Maxi's like, what are you doing? So they're bleeding and it goes yeah, off. Yeah, so yeah. that all lasted. They 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 dipped. Um, but because well, of who were they punch? Who did just, just random? Some random, bro. Some random. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Yo, nah, that's insane. What is happening? Yeah, they ended up doing five years. They for done them. five years for it. Yeah, yeah. And they ended up looking after Columbia while it was here, tapping him in with some of the boys. I can't wrap my head around that. Like. They just walk around with machetes in Australia is wild.
inside and um, he met some of the boys inside so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they still know Colombia but yeah this is where it happened this is why he did five years yeah <laughs> probably over nothing probably <laughs> someone said something <laughs> he was quick to pull it yeah so that um boat jangles was down on the beach yeah the one where Chopper shot that blow this week used to be a nightclub called Joey's back in the day that was yep. pretty notorious was that right here yeah, yeah. that's a like, worse at night everywhere yep. yo what they just got the the zombies just Laying on all, oh, he got the Yankee fitted. I see you, Australia, but damn. Yeah. Just laying out, yeah, you know, yeah. Because they can't go to the Gatwick anymore. Mm -hmm. So Gray Street, well known for its uh, red light district, obviously prostitutes. Oh yeah. Um, still active, old school, one of the pioneering graffiti crews. Yep, yep, yep. There was a GS38 uh, piece. It was like the oldest piece in Melbourne. Was it? Yeah, oldest. And Down there? Yeah, they've gone over it now. Oh, have they? Yeah, but. Anybody who knows Graph, Future 4, GS38, and um, bro, yeah, pioneering Graph. This is about, I'll yeah. say this whole street is like service centers, yep. houses, houses, bit of prostitution, a bit of drugs, yep. no uh, more so hood antics. I think this is the lane that um, QZ and Kate, Kate ended up like getting attacked. Yeah, because there's houses here or something, you yeah. know? Yeah. There's like boarding houses and shit. She ended up getting attacked, she was on the news. Massive car culture in Chapel Street. Is that? Um, every other hood comes to Chapel Street to do chap laps. Lad in the back was just saying, I won't tell you which one, but he's got his knife on him because it's like, it's a bit more serious around here. And yeah, he, was, he was talking serious. He goes, look, it's all jokes aside, I don't want to be lacking here because they get a bit stabby, so. It's time to get the M16. Just <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's been hectic since day one. Has it? Here, yeah. Yeah. Storm, lad. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm good. One of the boys from, uh, we went to school together. Oh, yeah, yeah, hectic, hectic. What's your name? Jesse, man. Jesse, Storm. Yeah, man. Got to shout out the Bella boys. Yeah. Bella Club is pretty much one with St. Kilda. We couldn't really go there. It's a little bit out the way, but shout out to the Bella boys, man. Bella. And it ain't Bella anymore. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, that was a really, that was a very, very, uh, that was used Yo, my wisdom tooth is bothering me. And it's so crazy because, you know, that you got four. I removed one, like, maybe, maybe it's going on four years now. I removed one four years ago. And a dentist told me, she said, girl, you might as just take them all out because they all going to bother you. And I was like, no, uh-uh, we'll deal with it when it come. I wish I would have took it out because it is bothering me to be a penny parlor there first it was called um jimmy's then little hustlers um but the, the bella boys would be there jimmy's is iconic jimmy's is cool. iconic yeah so you know so what's that it's a, a, a suburb parlor. next to st kilda yeah. yeah yeah it's it's its own little place is it's, that yeah, yeah yeah it was a neighborhood all right so bella boys paran boys we'd congregate and um when we'd get together there'd be like a hundred of us so yeah, yeah that was a good thing about the cruise yeah it was like windsor paran bella you, we could all just Rock a party, you know what I mean? It We'd gang crash every party and everyone would be like, they're coming to the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Chapel Street. Yeah, mad. So, a little bit of a history lesson, like one of the first old school break dancing movements back in the, I think, 80s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was here, it was a place called Hollywood. I'm pretty sure it was there. That building here? Like behind. Oh, behind it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah, so like Hollywood was like where they first started breaking. Yeah. First graph scenes from here in St. Kilda. Uh, one really? The, yeah, one of the first boys had um, a place, uh, like, a, like a little club there called Big City. Some of the boys that I first started rapping, Webster, uh, Family Friend, Richie. So those are the things that inspired me in the hip-hop scene. Yeah, All man. the graph, all the b-boying, all the uh, DJing, all the rapping. Oh, b-boys. Okay. Oh, so this is the center of that whole scene? This whole, this whole street. street? Yeah, this whole street. Yeah, mad, mad. And then, um, this used to be a pub, I think the Windsor Hotel, Windsor Railway. So that was, this was a pretty hardcore hotel, uh, pub. Yep. But now it's a bottle shop. So. Oh, mad. so you're saying here is where everyone comes down in their cars? Yeah, cars, show off their cars, show off their bikes, show off whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, show off their push bikes? Yeah, show off their push bikes. <laughs> 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 hey, hi, mate. Go on, go on. Hey, I like your bikes, don't don't do it, mate. Don't do it, lads. Yeah. <laughs> He's a beast. What do you call this type of push bike? Oh, yeah, bro. Good, good. Low riders. Low riders. Yeah, the They're mad, the lads. That's yeah, hectic. Oh, that's fire. It looks like an acquired yeah, school, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's fire. Yo, I haven't rode a bike in mad long pause. But, yo, that's fire. Yeah, how does he ride? <laughs> 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 Alright, I can hold it. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yo, that's going to be me, yo. Yo, I used to be able to not whip. Nah, I'm lying. I never knew how to willy, but I was about to lie. I was about to lie. That's crazy. <laughs> But I used to be able to do my little slide. You know, you on a bike, you do the little slide. Now I be on a bike like, oh, I feel like I'm on skates. Like, what's happening? Oh, no, no, <laughs> I hung in there, bro. Yeah. I didn't stuck it, mate. You know, I had death wobbles at two kilometers an hour. I, know, huh? <laughs> I think I'm a bit tall for that. The laps, the kind of the car culture was like, I don't know, when I went to George Street back in the days, yep. they used to go up and down. Yep. Not as much as here, but like, bro, it was like, it's always back to back to back. Yeah, yeah. Now, hardest lane. Yeah. Now we get some graffiti here. Yup, yup, yup. So shout out to one of the crews is WCA. Yup. The old school. Shout out to them boys. So oh, this is all theirs. Yeah. yeah these, are, these are OGs of the graph game as well. So. Yeah. They're gun pieces, lad. So it's called Artist Life. Yeah, these are my pieces, yeah. And there's an OG right there. Oh, yeah? You got one of the OG oh, yeah, himself. Go. This guy's pioneer of uh, well. the Melbourne graffiti scene. Yeah, hectic. How are you doing, lad? Nice to meet you. Spanian. How are you? Good, good, good. Yeah. What are you doing, lad? Piecing up now? Yeah, yeah, just doing the sham. Yeah, mad. Two players on the, on the right there. They were saying you're one of the OGs of the graph game down here, oh, brother. Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm like second generation Melbourne. Yeah. I came after like these like Peril, Paris, Jewel and all them. Yup, yup. What they years are we talking about here? Uh, 87 onwards. 87 onwards. 87 and then that's OJ, lad. Again, like oh, that's OG. That's the OG of Melbourne. Oh, no, what's this? South Melbourne. So that's the OG of South Melbourne. 96. Yeah, yeah. And just started solidly painting every two weeks. Since yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, mass. For those yeah. of you that, like that are wondering what it is, RDC, Rock the City. Yeah, Rock the City. FMC. Prowler, Fresh Mess SBA, crew. which is like a New York crew. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever, do you ever get around? A New York crew? Hold on. Hold up. Word? Let me hear him say that because I forgot. I didn't hear the name of it. Hold on. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mass. For those yeah. of you that like that are wondering what it is, RDC, Rock the City. Yeah, Rock the City. FMC. Prowler, Fresh Mess SBA, crew. which is like a New York crew. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever, do you ever get around? I gotta look that up. Spraying? Yeah, I travel. Went, I went last you went to New York. Oh, you in New York? York? Yeah, yeah, sick. Europe. But has it died out, slowed down? You know, I'm 50 now, yeah. so I'm trying to pass on my knowledge. To yeah, yeah. Whether it's hip hop or because yeah. I produce as yeah, well. He, yeah. he raps now, and he was my student. Like uh, I teach, mm -hmm. so I teach music production and art. And he was one of my students. So now that I'm retiring or like slowing down yeah. and not doing as much, trying to find the younger lads, eh? Passing, passing them on. Them on yeah. yeah. This is monitored by Union Heights, which you know, if this lane was left to everyone, it'd be smashed. It'd be every smashed. Day, yeah. You know? yeah. So, so how we does it try work? and maintain. Yeah, in? you know, it's like, do you know this guy? Is he alright? Yeah, so quality control in the lane, eh? Yeah. Out, you know? So you can legally do this in Australia? Because he's recording it. So I'm assuming like you can legally graffiti because that's the area. I, I need you guys to explain this to me. Because legally, in the, you cannot do this. So I'm just asking, how does this work? Everyone's kind of keeping the quality up, you know? Yeah. I like, cannot just come to Australia, give me some paint with the lads, you know, and be like, hey, can I put TT Chanel right here? I don't know. I mean, I can't draw for shit, but I could, I could put a little TT Chanel on some shit. Yeah, that's mine. There's internationals that come, they'll paint down here. Yeah? What's this lane called again? Artist Lane. Artist Lane, yeah. I'll take you. I think we're going to try ride it again. <laughs> <laughs> we can just edit the other ones out. Yeah. <laughs> nice Good to talk to you. Check out the tunes, yeah? Yeah, it's all. Jay's Connection 2. All right, it's all. First real gang to be... Ripping postcodes, yeah. With three one seven four, hectic gang in the southeast. Man. JFK just for kicks as well. Is the graph store in the middle of Chapel Street? Best stickers. Best stickers. Oh yeah. This is where people come to get their Yeah. Oh, you got my side bags, hectic. Well, the boys around here can do art, sell it in here. Yeah, that's mad. That's mad. They used to do that. That's hectic, brother. Man. Oh, that's hectic. That's hectic. That's hectic. Yeah.
fire. I remember when I was young, I had that album, Yeah Baby. So me and my cousin started a uh, crew called TKO, Total Knockout. Yeah. This was one of our best riders in it, Sincha. He's passed he away passed now. Away. That was the, we seen him on the bridge, sprayed yeah, up. He yeah, was, uh, he was train surfing and it yeah. didn't go well. So. Oh. Yeah, so Sincha was prolific. Like, he yeah. got up everywhere, everywhere and anywhere. So everyone in the grass scene knows Sinch. Yeah, he was yeah, ripping yeah. TKO, Total Knockout for a while. Great artist, very like took his art like a graffiti actually and started to monetize. I don't think we have time to really go down there right now, but I'm gonna shout out the Bang Street Flats. That's the one that got full gentrified. It's been knocked down. The apartments are already up and yep. they're completed. Bang Street was down there. Yeah, I'm blazed. I tell you, when you mix the tea and the herb and gooby blaze, I'm feeling good, feeling great, lads. How y'all feeling? Drop that comment, drop that. Yo, how you say it? East Trey? East Trey? Uh, East Trey? Uh, is Ash Trey? Drop a comment. How you say it? Yeah, those flats. Yup. Chapel Street was the congregation for all the hoods to come down. Yup. And then you've just got Paran flats in the bang middle of it. So all the hoods around here, including some of them we've been through, this is the spot for them to kick back. Yeah. Everyone's chilling here. Because there's, there's more action here. Yeah, and, and there's all there. Yeah, this is the spot. Cars, punch-ons, graffiti. Yep. yep. Everything like that. All, the, all the break crews dancing all back in the days. All of it. And the, and the flats and then the down flats the bang back in like that middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you end up coming out, like a few of the boys are drinking, they come out onto chapel, Yo. get into it with whatever group. What's Revs? Revolver, it's open 24 hours all weekend. Oh yeah, what yeah. is it, a club? Yeah, it's, it's where you go there. when you can't get in oh. anywhere. That's <laughs> it's hard to get in, yeah, they're Revolver. Oh, Revolver it's Lane. Like are out the front. Yeah. Oh, 24-7 club, eh? All weekend, all weekend. Oh, yeah, no all way. Like, you're, you're three days up, that's where you are. Yeah. The things that people in Sydney are crying for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so Monday morning they come and see the yeah, sunlight. Mate, you could come here Monday morning and watch them all come. No way. Yeah, right. No way. <laughs> That'd be cracked up. Feel good about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm screaming. Like, this street's mad, lad. Actually, yeah. this street is hectic. It's just just the amount of people, the amount of like shops and the cultural feeling in the street. Yeah, yeah. You can feel. You can. Yo, Melbourne. I want to go here. That like the shopping area, like some good food. Yeah. I don't see no women though. What's up with that? Mm. Feel a, a cultural sense to the street. It's not just a, a bland shop street, you know? So now we start to get into like the real heart. Yo, yo. <laughs> Oh, that's the fancy. Oh, this is fire. Yo, yo, this is fire. How they got the low rod? Nah, I have to go to Melbourne. This is dope. This area, though. This area. They got nice hotels in this area. Drop a comment. What area is this? I wasn't. That must have went over my head, but drop that comment. <laughs> yo, I said that's sick, lad. Sick, lad. That's it. <laughs> that's sick. But if you had that car in Sydney, it'd be I told you that's sick, lad. Like. Under in like oh, three it's... seconds. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, nah. They tried, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Do they? They tried, yeah. 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 Even without the bouncing cars, just like how it, the, the, the form factor yeah, of it, it's straight yeah. in the cop shop. Nah. <laughs> hey, the dog's in the backpack yeah, now. There I just got us, lad. <laughs> yo, I'm screaming. It's funny because I was about to say, yo, lads, is this dog in the back? <laughs> yo. Yo, Spain, I just said I'm screaming. I didn't know you guys say that too. Wow, that's crazy. You guys say that. That is crazy. Yo, this new thing I'm doing though, is some new shit I'm saying. I'm, I'm shouting. Like, if it's really funny, I'm shouting. Like, what? They really got this. <laughs> yo, yo, we need a nickname for him. It's going to come to me because I like him. I do. I'm going to call him Dog Handler. That's Dog Handler right there. He handle all the dogs, man. Like, what's up, B? <laughs> 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 So this, this is the start of praying flats here? Yep. Oh, yeah, mad. Yeah, it's in a mad spot, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, Carly. How come everyone has a Spaniard book but me? Yeah. The people watching don't know that. I've got an Australian bestseller book sold out in Australia in nine days and then the company that sells it didn't want to sell it no more. So it's rare. Why? 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 If it's sold out in nine days, why? Why? You can sell that on eBay. You can sell that on eBay for five hundred bucks.
you can sell it on eBay for 500 bucks. I wouldn't buy it yet, but when I get my money up, I promise you, I will buy it. They're rare, those books now. So all roads lead to Paran. Yeah. Basically, and that's why, because look at the, you walk out and you're there. And that's why. No, it's in a mad spot. That's why. They come from the bottom of that street into, into here, it's mad. And so what we, they'd be like from every hood, yep. South Melbourne, Ballard, St Kilda, Windsor, we're in here drinking. Mad. And, then we, out, and then we head out to the Chapel Street and it's on a cracking. Mad. If you weren't from here, you just could not walk through the flats. It's not jail. It's not a word. That little um, minimum security detention center in there. <laughs> so, oh, no way, you can't work out like uh, normally, you know what I mean? Welcome to the Paran Flats. Yo. Lots of love here, lots of brotherhood, lots of family. Cage of death. Cage of death, lad. We bring everybody in and then the, only the strong Cage survive. No. WrestleMania? Yeah, yeah WrestleMania. WrestleMania, lad. So as you can see, you can just see Chapel right there. Yeah, so we're right there on Chapel. We're pretty much on Chapel Street. 100%. So Such a mad spot, bro. What, what would That's normally stuff. happen is like we, back in the day, we're all just drinking in here. It might be 50 of us, 100 of us. Yo. One of the boys goes down to KFC, which is just there, gets into it. As you can see, it's right there. So they'll be like, boys, boys, boys. 50, 100 running out of the chapel. Oh, yeah? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, though. That's how I used to be, though. That's how I used to be in the hood, you know what I mean? Like, what? You be outside with your cousins and all that? You get into an altercation? Yo! Oh, hey, hey, the whole, the whole family, the grandmother coming out. What happened? It's, it's a call. It's a hood call. Pumping whoever it was, yeah. whatever crews, yeah. coming back in. Going in, ganking them all, coming back. Them, you know, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was, it was too hard. They're only coming down with maybe 50, 20 people. Yeah. But then it's like 50, 60 yeah, of us yeah. are always drinking and everyone just like, bang, pump them, leave yeah. them. So that's why it was always on. His, yeah. his GT's yeah. Golden Triangle was like a notorious billiards place. Yeah. Um, the older boys were there. We it was still there when we were around. He can do some stories. But yeah, there was uh, there was <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah. Alan Brown is an OG for our boys older than us. Yo, he looked like an OG. Okay, OG look healthy. One oh my goodness. I was watching this video and I'm mad I should have did a reaction video on it. But you know what? I'm still gonna I'm not gonna necessarily do a reaction, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys certain points in the video. They were talking about how American food is just so unhealthy and everywhere else in the world don't follow like the way we just produce our food. And I was sitting there and I'm looking, I'm thinking back and I'm like, yo, the lads do be looking healthy. Yo, we be looking all fat and some of us be looking just extra skinny. It's just crazy how just, I can't wait to go to Australia and eat some good food. I like, it's going to be a great, it's going to be great for my diet. So it's just going to be perfect. TT, what diet you want? You're right. I ain't on no diet, but I'm just saying like, just, just my diet period. Like the, the way I intake food intake or take in, drop a comment. But you know, the way I eat food, it's just going to be good for my diet. I cannot wait. So drop some good, healthy Australian dishes, even though any dish I get in Australia is going to be healthier compared to America. I said, oh, America, I'm hot. Let me just shut up. It was uh, there, but Golden Triangle, I remember there was, I don't really even know. It's your hood, bro. Yeah, 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 it is my hood. Yeah. Oh, look, a lot of things happened. You know, I'm busting to go to the toilet, though. Like, <laughs> really badly. But, yeah, no, you know, back then, you know, like, it was a lower demographic area, obviously. You yeah. know, we got the crews, different places, come down, try to take over, and then we sort of stand our ground. Yeah. Um, back then, country road bags, machetes. Oh, yeah. You name it, that's all we had. So you're saying lads came down here trying to take over? Oh, yeah, well, it was a yeah. bit of, a, a bit of just, just, just territory, you know? Yeah. Um, Does they get pumped? Yeah. And come back. Yeah, In this yeah, very yeah. court right here, I did a one on one with a guy. Had a one on one, they closed the gate, everyone surrounded the gates. He got me to Solarplex, winded me. He's gonna love this. <laughs> yeah. He winded me, I was out. My mate jumped the fence and just beat him with a pole. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> it was something where. I didn't like it because it made me look like a bitch, obviously, yeah. you know, but yeah, man, he got me good, man. A solid plex, I was like, man, I couldn't move. But, yeah, uh, back about then, old school, he had like the whole triad yeah, there, man, yeah, back yeah. to the... I tied in, you know, tied Oh, did you? Yeah, 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 mad. So, yeah, some guy, Vietnamese guy, had his hair chopped off, I believe. Yeah. Bit, of a, bit of a story, was yeah. told, you know? Yo, what is it with the, like, the just... The vibe, like, you, that is some violent, it's like, it's funny, but weird. It's not even, it's not even funny. It's just the way, the, why, what's with the machetes? What's with the machetes and it just knocking people head off their shoulders? What is it? What is it in Australia? Like, I just, that's, no, I don't know. I think I would just rather get shot at. Like, if I had to choose between possibly getting my head knocked off my shoulders or getting shot at, you, I don't know. I don't know. But they both sound bad, but damn.
Triangle? Yeah, Golden Triangle. But yeah, no, I had friends. We had a few other altercations where chopping's happened. But yeah, man. A lot yeah. of like, because back then, like 20 years ago, it was like Asian pride. Yeah, it was a lot of Asian. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was just Asians, choppings. Yeah. Um, That's like, it, even. Chopping sound crazy. Around here, heaps of yeah, Asians. Bro. Yeah. It's like it was just on like a lot of vets from the other. Yep. Ho is one of my best mates. Ho did a really good job of like transitioning. Um, into like youth work and he helped a lot of the kids from here for like 20 years did it for ages man yeah, and, like big. you know so he really did a lot for the the youth but he really made it out legit but yeah country road bags artillery bag of just like seven trolley poles yeah. three <laughs> machetes <laughs> nunchucks oh, yeah. like, we just rock up and so i won't name the gang names the people came and looking for you guys I yeah, think. yeah yeah <laughs> and we're in the park is all tan bark like and they all hid like everywhere you stood like if you flicked it like a machete would flick up so everyone was ready oh, everyone no was standing in the park like, they, they were just back. chilling they yeah, were coming yeah. back from retaliation <laughs> and it's like well we'll just wait yeah yeah, yeah. We'll just and wait. Then we've, think, we've got nothing well they'll no, think oh that's nothing but then we'll just yeah but... so y'all see the lookouts and look y'all see low key <laughs> low key looking like let me just make sure the scene is all right you know what i mean i'm just checking out the scene y'all good do your vlog. I'm just make sure nobody tries. Cause any one of these lads tries, I'm knocking somebody head off their shoulders. I love this guy. When I come to Australia, I need somebody like low key. I need somebody looking like in case nobody try to pick TT up and, and cause you know I'm small. Right? I mean I got a little muscle though. Don't get me wrong. I work out. I you know what I mean. But still, like I'm small, so I don't want nobody try to pick me up and drum me. So you know what I mean. I need somebody like low key. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our blood died. Wow. Good. It's trauma to us from it, man. Yeah, bro. That's, no, yeah, how, like, how right, that's heavy. Huh? How young was the kid that got locked? Oh, man, 13. Yeah, bro. He ended up not getting 13. 13 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Just got sick of getting bullied. Yeah. No way. Went up and just jabbed him one. Yeah, not yeah. one of the old. As well as back in the day, we used to have... A 13 year old lad. Yeah. We used to have access to the roofs and we used to have a lot of jumpers. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you just can't get up there now? No, not anymore, but I remember I was standing with a a friend's uh, little brother and this guy just fell in front of oh me my. and it was just disgusting yo that is wow can you imagine you just chilling on the block yeah like doing doing mate what the and it's a person it's black guts man it's black yeah they shut that shit down as well see the, the, the sound effect they had those people used to chuck Trolleys off there, the TVs day. and shit. Yeah, shit like, shit, eh? So, yeah, that's stupid shit, man. What do I, this is Claroya, she's 100% hey, like the best female rapper yeah. in yeah. Australia. Hold on, let me fix myself up. Because, you know, you can't just be. How you doing? My name is TT. And yes, I'm an American. I just want to say. Um, you have a very, very beautiful smile. Um, drop a comment. I need to see some videos from her. I need her Instagram. Um, that is a, a, a beautiful Australian woman, right? She's Australian, right? Um, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Check her out. So you've got... Oh, what's the name? What's the name? Claroya Boss. Claroya. Claroya. So you've got two of the best uh, rappers in Australia, including Fact. Spanion, the third. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so everyone forgets that I used to rap like, before I was a YouTuber. <laughs> I, listen, when I found out that Spanyan did music, I was like, yo, he can actually rap. And I didn't mean it like, wow, I didn't expect him to not rap. But most YouTubers' music are trash, right? I mean, drop a comment. Do you guys think my music is trash? I don't feel so. So, But let me know, though. But anyway, so I was like, yo, he's talented. Like, how come this didn't get him on the map? That's what it hit me by surprise. I'm like, this should have got him on the map. The Into the Hood vlogs, yes, but this music is fire. So yeah, it's crazy that people forget that. <laughs> and I want to give the and I want to give a shout out to Columbia because that's how I came across Banyan when it was crooked uh, <laughs> hypnotics. And he would send me the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you first started shooting, he said there was one in a train tunnel. Yeah. Well, like old school stuff. So that's Saying what he's talking about, he's all have no idea. When I got out of jail, I want to start rapping on YouTube before I knew what was going on. And yeah. She's she's from here. So yeah, she's one of the best rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She grew up right there. So, you know, we're trying to uplift our community. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what No Plan B is about. You know, so I'm just trying to Did help you try to show yeah. something yeah, on your back? Yeah, yeah. Yo, what? <laughs> He said, yeah, that's what this is about. Yo, this was him. Yo, yeah, you know, that. that's what this is about. That's what this is about. <laughs> he said, yo, it's nothing. <laughs> yo, I got to grow up. Because this should not be that funny. But it's funny. <laughs> you remember when you was in school? And they used to put the kick me on the back. And you just start kicking you. But not that. I ain't wasn't the kick me. I was the one to put, put it on the shirt. Yo, oh, I gotta grow up. I do. Woo, that was funny. Woo. 
I ain't laughed that hard in years. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay. Okay, time to get serious. There's nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just shot us up. It was on my hoodie. <laughs> Mentioning Rubes. I actually have a um, music video co uh, coming out called Ruben, and it is about Rubes and Dumb Dumb. Awesome. So, right. about, so that's going to be on YouTube too, man. Check it out, Little Jace. Inspirational. Ruben, and it's a mad song. Yeah, heck, we shot it here, bro. Jace, you've seen some of her news. Yeah, have you? I've had a little bit of a vacation from Paran. <laughs> Come yeah. here, and I meet all these new people. Every time you get out, it's all new heads? No, all new heads. Same, same stories. Same oh, stories. Yeah. What? <laughs> they're knocking down everything. They're knocking yeah. down. In four years' time, they're going to knock down everything and build ones like this. Oh, yeah, over there. Like the ones over there, yeah. So, where it's fenced off here, they're this was. New ones. The, well, this, this was. was uh, this was high rises like, like this. this. Mm -hmm. What made them specifically knock this one down, you reckon, as opposed. Were, they, were these the worst ones? They were probably one of the first. Here and the ones at, at the, the back. At the back, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. See, there's still walk ups around. Yeah. But they're going to knock all them down. Uh, now they've just rebuilt them and they're half government, half private. Yep, 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 yep. So, oh, that's what they're doing. So they're uh, half, half house, oh, half private. Yeah. So they're sort of spreading out the ghetto in a say, lad. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. they do everywhere. But they're beautiful flats. Yeah, are they? Yeah, I went inside. They're yeah. in construction work. They're better. In. Solar powered CCTV. Go on. Go on, Ungies. We ended up having Richmond boys. There was an issue that transpired and we heard they were coming down. About 30 of the Richmond flat boys came down, there's about 30 of us here. And um, it was supposed to just be a chat, but we didn't know if they were coming on, but whatever. We just stooped all the machetes in here. Oh, so yeah. about 30 just Yo, what? Nah. Just cover a cover. We ended up chatting it out. It was funny because everyone said, what up, what up? Obviously, there was a few boys that didn't see eye to eye, mm -hmm. but it would have been a bloodbath had it gone off, bro. I don't, they never knew that we just had it. Yeah, yeah. But this was, we'd all just kind of like wait for them to come in. Stook and yo. you know, there was a lot of retaliation back in the day coming out. So, and as you can see, and I was yo, y'all ever seen the movie Warriors? When all the, it's based in New York and all the gangs come together and stuff like that. That's what that sound like. He said, yeah, you know, they came and we came, but I, you know, what I mean, all our boys, they boys, machetes, what? All of this was flat. Yeah, it rises a lot of memories. Everywhere they are doing that in Sydney because what their idea is is that. Uh, if you have too many houses together, that's what creates a ghetto. So if you spread them out amongst richer people, then it can't create like that situation. So that that's the logic. Yeah, yeah. Until they, rob them, Until they yeah. <laughs> Until people start moving out. Yeah. They're like, they're like, who's my neighbour? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we kick it here, we kick it in there, and then here's just up here, one of the, the last spots that we all kick it in. In the eighties, before they had those windows up there, that's where it faced the jump. Oh yeah. As a kid, I used to walk under the flats. I was too scared to walk on the outside because I was scared a body was going to drop. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's back in the 80s. Ah. Heroin and hip-hop. Heroin and hip-hop. Ah. Why is there an extremely violent pit bull down there? <laughs> we got a dog with us. <laughs> they kill us, Steve, here. Yeah. Uh, we'd all be drinking yeah. up here. I'm just kicking back. Sometimes you just got this whole area packed. Yeah. Again, 100 of us. <laughs> yeah. Look at the doggy, lad. He's walking around now. W doggy. Just a bag drinking. Oh, oh fucking heaps of flats. All down there were flats. flats but I was thinking it was one. No. So Yo, I want heaps of comments. Heaps of comments. Comment, comment. Heaps, heaps. Heaps of comments. So it would have been what? Three? How many? Oh, no, About one, three. Two, three, four, five, six. There was like five, oh, legit. Five, seven, eight, like more. Ten. Oh, because, yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. In the Ruben music video, I filmed in those flats particularly, mm -hmm. so you'll see it, but like, bro, it's just. And what about these ones? These ones. These ones are still active. They're, they're still, still going. Yeah, we'll, we'll no yeah. rumors that they're disappearing? I don't know, bro. I, I just feel like I don't know how they're going to knock these down. Yeah, right? yeah. They can't. They can't. They can't. Yeah. Active. Yeah. There's too many people uh, relying on this place. In Sydney, the way it worked when they done that, and I think it might have a same approach, is they do put them somewhere else temporary, and they do have them to go back in there unless they have drug convictions. Oh, okay. So that's how they that's work. Good. So, so it's like, yeah, if you have a drug conviction, you're staying in the, yeah, they chuck you in the western suburbs, and everyone who behave while they live there come back in, and all the criminals stay out there. That's that's the way they do it. So it might be the same here. All right, we're going up into the flats here. Oh yeah, I forgot the security. Oh, there's not? All right, sweet. Just the ones walking around, yeah. Dave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
that's dope. There was two brothers from our uh, hood, yep. Pappas brothers, and they ended up going world famous. Yeah. And they ended up taking on Tony Hawk. No way. Yeah, from here. And this is where they were. That's there. what they used to say. Yo, I used to, yo, it's so funny. This is like speaking to like my childhood. I used to love Tony Hawk. Like, I used to, I, I was, first of all, y'all already can imagine, I was a tomboy growing up, so I loved playing video games. And one of my favorite games was Tony Hawk. Like, what? I was nasty. You could not tell me nothing about Tony Hawk. Yo, I can't wait to meet that nigga. That nigga? That nigga probably old as fuck now. I'm gonna look that shit up. Skate. Yeah, but yeah, Tony Hawk, um, like, cause they were skaters yeah. and Tony Hawk's a dirty rat. I don't like it. Oh, yeah? He took the oh, low-key don't like that nigga, Tony Hawk. Yo, Loki said, that nigga Tony Hawk. Hold on, what happened? There was two brothers from our uh, hood, yep. Pappas brothers, and they ended up going world famous. Yeah. And they ended up taking on Tony Hawk. No way. Yeah, from here. And this is where they were. That's there. where they used to skate. Yeah, but yeah, Tony mate. Hawk. Um, because they were skaters, and Tony Hawk's a dirty rat. I don't like it. Oh, yeah? He took the f 900 from. From Tass, man, because Tass was practicing that shit for months. Yeah, it's like he did it. One of the boys did the 900 first. No way. And then Tony Hall. Yeah. So he oh, nah. L, Tony Hall. You gonna steal somebody move? Nah, that's a. What do you say? A L. He made it a thing to go do it like all on camera. Just, yeah. to, just to get yeah. in there quick. He ain't even give no credit to him or nothing. That's lame. Yeah, one of them ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they were brothers from here and they, they full went to the tops. Like, yeah, Tony yeah. Hall. One of them passed, one of them got locked. Like, that were him. Yeah. The documentary is called All, All This Mayhem. All This Mayhem. Yes. Yeah, so. Yo, drop that comment, drop that comment. And remind me, to, I want to do a reaction video to that documentary. Man, if you want to look that up. Yo, yo, yo. That's, that's yeah, crazy. That that's a, a mad story. That was a skate park. You know, is like, skate culture something in Melbourne? Back then yeah, it was. Back then, yeah. Even now, even now. Even now. Yeah. Hey, I went through that, guys. I had a, a, a skating phase. Drop a comment if you want me to, to tell you guys the story time of why I stopped, what made me start all that good stuff. I even got the pictures and stuff that we could go over, but I went through my skateboard phase. So, yeah, it was crazy. Skaters? Because skating always got went hand or oh, um, from what where I'm from, hand in hand with graffiti yes, to a certain yes, sense. Yep, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 there was a festival called yep. Chapel Street Festival. So imagine Ooh. Chapel Street mm -hmm. on a festival yep. from Windsor all the way up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they shut yeah, it down yeah. because it was getting too violent because there'd be like a hundred of us. Yeah, yeah. Spelting yeah. everybody. And the festival was what type of festival? Music festival? Uh, everything. Every food, food. Oh, dance. yeah. Chapel Street. Yeah. That's mental. Down. Chapel Street. Yeah. Oh, Chapel Street. Last month. They, they just that would be shut sick. Shut well, how often? Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. That's mad. Yeah. They had some of our boys, old school, yeah. getting older generation, got into it with police. Yeah, they can cave these. Oh. Yeah. Nah, and after don't. that, like a lot of police got hurt, and they were like, we can't do this anymore because every Chapel Street festival was just hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Hundred yeah. cats would be at the bowl, yeah. Hundred percent. Punch it on. We'd be punching on with each other. Did that have a yeah. name that that skate that bowl? Nah, nah, just Paran skate. Park. Paran skate park, yeah. yeah, yeah it was only a bowl back in the day. Oh, it, so, it was a bowl, yeah. Yeah, yeah the half pipe and yep. the bowl, you know. So that's the, that's, that's the old half pipe. It's all rusted out. Yeah, that's yeah. the same one. So they're replacing that. Yeah, they gentrifying yeah. that whole thing, making. Oh, all right, yeah. And I see this flat straight. That's what they do. Right across there too. Yeah, what? That's more flat. That's yeah. Next, uh, what is it? Bank Street. Oh yeah. Street. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Knife boys. Let's see it, South Melbourne to Brand Flats. What's going on? Thank you, boys. You have big class. Yeah. Much love, man. Man. Later, later. Later, later. Doing, doing, mate. Drop that comment. Hit that subscribe.